people welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot wave principle in today's video we are going to uh, see an updated analysis of gold silver euro Canadian dollar British pound so uh, first of all we'll switch to gold chart uh, and uh, I've been bearish and on the on gold and my point of view is that we are bearish on US dollar uh, index basket currencies as well and I'm bearish on uh, silver as well that means I am thinking that the uh, US dollar itself is bullish uh, so that's the similar theme uh, I'm going to run with it uh, one very important thing that I try to do in my forecast in my analysis is to uh, is to bring one individual clear-cut forecast either the forecast is correct or either it's wrong I am not going to provide the uh, alternate labeling on a smaller time frame there is a chance on a larger time frame I try to stick with one uh, forecast and if I give you two or three forecast with one priority and second priority and third priority I do not know how uh, someone can actually trade it I have been an elitician for good seven eight years and initially I really liked it and I was able to then present different alternate labelings the problem was that it looks very attractive and beautiful and you can see all the price movements um, once the the time has gone you can actually see that one of the forecast was right so this is actually I personally believe it's a marketing gimmick is it's just like the problem is that once the market has run out of that time then you can go back and say yeah one of the forecast was right the problem is how are you going to uh, trade that information how are you going to trade that information it's just beyond me so I love to have different point perspective to have different perspective but in my own personal trading I try to cut it off as much as we can do uh, for the people who actually present alternative uh, labeling, I am do not have, of course, I'm not bad naming them. Uh, they have their way of doing a job and I have my way of doing a job. So it's simply a different methodology. Uh, it's just not in my priority list. So let's have a look at what we are thinking. Uh, on an hourly time frame, I was considering yesterday, I made a forecast that in gold's price, it was looking that we are probably going to see a deeper price action. However, we can see that the price action went two or three times and it got rejected from the top. Uh, prices were, I think, right trading in that point and I stated the price is going to go up. We saw a little correction, prices went up. First attempt, correction, we saw a support. Second attempt, correction, another third attempt. And it looks like we are seeing resistance from third part attempt too. If you see the pattern itself look like, feels like uh, double threes here we can see a complex correction I'm considering this as wave A, wave B and wave C uh, a zigzag correction this itself is a zigzag correction and this itself is a zigzag correction these are all side wave corrections normally what happens is that one of them will alternate if this is zigzag then the other one would be flat but there's not a rule that it cannot be of the same and they do not have to alternate so there are some very rare instances where we could see the double three in this sharp shape as well one more possibility and this is the alternate count this is a possibility that we probably are going to see an extended wave right over here we can in that case we can consider wave a this as wave b and then this as wave c so that is a possibility and that's a alternate labeling on the 15 minute time frame and the larger trend stays down so I'm gonna wait for the price itself the reason I was uh, going to let uh, give uh, an analysis is to help you make a decision that's your call now because I have already seen some resistance so we is there is a possibility that the probably support is coming already handy and the the pattern itself though is very messy could be uh, over all right and there is also a possibility that the pro probably the pattern is still continuing but I can confirm you with one thing and that the trend that actually started from right over here is still bearish is still going on so that it, it I leave it to you what you want to do with that information so I believe that we have completed an impulse wave right over here and I believe that either we are very close to the finishing of the pattern or we have already finished the pattern how can we find with the uh, confirmation that the pattern is complete let me see if we can if prices can fall below this start this price range which is 1782 
this will be a confirmation that uh, probably we have completed the pattern so that's and indeed that will be a confirmation that we have completed the correction so once again it's your decision what you want to do with that information as far as the NSL itself is concerned I'm bearish with gold and I'm staying bearish with gold this is a good opportunity for some people who want to jump in you do not have to catch a trend right from the top so this is a good trend uh, joining opportunity on its own um, we have seen a good drop in price and a correction all right and it's perfectly right place to uh, join the trend once again uh, keep money management in in mind and uh, let's see what silver is doing again with silver I indicated when silver is trading right over here that there are two possible targets. and one is this right over here and if you can see the price is further down then the second target would be right over here instead we can see that the prices went in this target and we have seen a correction and this could be that the correction that, that the the pattern itself ended right over here if it is ended right over here we can easily label it as wave A, wave B and wave C let's try that so this is Elliott wave we can try this A, B and C alright and in this case once again we can consider this as a impulse drop and we can clearly see a wave A, wave B and wave C let me quickly label it roughly for if you wanna really uh, see it so let's have a look this is giving us an indication that we have completed a correction probably a downward first move of an impulse and then a correction and we should be expecting prices to go further down much like we have seen the prices right over here drop a correction and then we saw a good strong drop so this is good and good and good could be a possibility that uh, we are we have completed the pattern as far as the longer trend itself is concerned I am bearish on silver and I believe that we have created a good uh, top right over here so from this way onward uh, I'm looking towards about 16 ish uh, tar target for silver in and let's see what happens with that let's have a look at euro okay so on four only on my weekend video that I posted I clearly stated that I'm looking uh, for euro to be bearish and we saw two three days nice movement it was very good price movement this one and let's have a look on a 15 minute chart once again with the correction I I stated once the correction started that there's a possibility that we can if the the correction is going to be deeper we can see the correction to be in this zone however it looks like that we have seen already a lot of price movement once again and it looks like that we could have completed the correction corrective pattern itself which is actually basically finding support on a smaller time frame as well so that means that we have created a top right over here and we are ending downwards if you are considering this top to trade then it's a very very bad idea if you want to consider this top to trade the trading setup that will be a better idea it will keep you uh, in the market you know for a longer duration of time and uh, it will help you see the uh, catch the larger trend itself all right here you can see the support is also broken for this price movement as well uh, okay so this is basically giving us an indication that it's a once again if you are, do not want to pick a top it's very difficult on a small time frame to pick a top so it's a good time frame uh, I mean it's a good correction to join the bearish trend in euro now let's have a look at Canadian dollar we have seen a good price uh, movement we on uh, on weekend I stated that we are expecting a strength in uh, I mean the uh, Canadian dollar is going to be weaker and we have seen that weaker price movement occurring in this and uh, yesterday I also forecasted that we should be seeing a correction we have seen a correction whether that correction is complete or not that's a totally different uh, story uh, but it, as far as trend itself joining is concerned and the correction is either complete or you are very very close to the completion of correction itself once the correction is complete of course we'll resume the weaker uh, Canadian dollar uh, and I'm expecting that this year is going to be going upwards so soon or very soon either we have completed the correction right over here or we may find a drop right over here and go over with that uh, once again if you zoom in that one and you focus on the price action itself is 
it keeps puts, puts you in a different si difficult situation but if you consider this as an extreme bottom then it seems that if you consider this whole price movement and this much drop seems a very nice joining opportunity once again at a smaller time frame it's very very difficult to confirm uh, whether we have completed the pattern on its own if the pattern is complete it looks like wave a wave b and wave c a simple zigzag correction would it looks like that have completed so we can consider it as wave a wave b and wave c and then we consider it, this one as wave one wave two wave three wave four or you can consider it wave three right over here uh, wave four right four right over here and then this wave, wave five all right uh, once again we are very very close to the completion of correction and the uh, weaker Canadian dollar should resume sooner uh, let's have a look at British pound this was awesome a very price movement we have seen a drop and and we're expecting the prices to go up and this had happened we were able to forecast this price movement and we were able to forecast this price movement very very good chunk of price movement in British pound let's have a look on four hourly chart on four hourly chart I indicated that we can consider this price movement as an impulsive and this as a flat correction uh, where we can see wave A, wave B and wave C. I'll uh, talk more about wave C just give me a moment. Once this correction pattern is complete we are looking towards more bearish price movement for uh, British pound. On weekend video I stated that it will probably jump I do not think that it will jump pretty soon so let me delete that. Uh, we are expecting of course we are uh, the trend is going to come down we have seen prices correction and then we have seen prices uh, jump we will see prices come down and probably some correction and then further down so i'm bearish on Canadi on british pound as i'm very bearish on uh, canadian dollar and euro and i think that this trend is going to run for a longer period of time it's not like one or two days or one week or two week time period I think it's gonna run for at least three to four months maybe six months uh, it all depends on the price action let's have a look on the four hourly time frame now I'm um, I want to want to ask you to stop your video right over here and see if you could label I'm not saying that my labeling that I'm attempting could be actually the same what you're thinking but if you wanna do a just a little exercise you can pass the video and you can recome it so I'm considering right now this is my answer I'm considering this as wave A, wave B and then wave C wave C as we know is a uh, five wave structure in a flat correction so what kind of flat correction uh, five wave structure it looks to you I'm considering that we consider we could be probably a single zigzag correction and another zigzag correction and another zigzag what do you guys talk about it right what do you guys say about it that means that we probably are completing something called ending diagonal but diverging ending diagonal in which the ending diagonal is not convert the waves are not actually converging but they are actually the shape itself is actually diverging there is a possibility that if this is right then we can see wave 1, wave 2, wave 3, wave 4 and wave 5 now what is the possibility that I want to say there is a possibility the that we might see C to be truncated last wave 5 to be truncated we have already seen that this price movement has come fallen quite a bit and now I was expecting that prices will go but on the with the very first uh, resistance we can see that it has stopped so could this still be going there is a possibility that it still is going and we'll see a new top this is a exactly fine possibility but there's also a possibility that once if actually prices fall below this support line this will be an indication that we probably have created a truncated top right over here so once that top very once that top is complete then we are definitely looking for bearish price movement in uh, British pound uh, it's Friday it's a week closing day and that's the reason I wanted to post the analysis thanks once again have a good one and bye bye